everyone, Morgan here. So as you guys know by now, or as you should know, or if you're brand new to the channel, we are 100% off the grid, meaning we are not hooked up to the electrical grid at all. We are 100% on solar and we're gonna be getting a wind, we have a wind generator, but we're gonna be getting it up soon. Anyway, um, one of our goals was to get a freezer. Um, you know, we can preserve, I can can. I. It's hard to dehydrate right now just because of our energy limitations right now we need to be getting we need to up our solar and battery but we can run a freezer we were shocked to find out how little energy a freezer takes you think of a freezer and you think you know well it's it's working 24 7 to keep this stuff cool right and um you know you think that it would use a lot of electricity it doesn't first of all we got this five cubic feet uh freezer from home depot we literally stumbled across it. Freezers have been pandemic items. Everybody and their mothers and grandmothers and great grandmothers have been wanting freezers. Okay. Well, we were kind of forced to put it up today um, and we are running it to our uh, RV right now. We really didn't want to do that, but we were forced to, to run it. So it is currently on um, and stuff is in there freezing. And so our generator, uh, we, when did we start it? When did we get it going? I don't know what you're talking about. At like about. 9 a.m. this morning? The, the freezer? Yeah. So you can see it's cold. Ooh, look at that. Nice and cold. Okay, right, it's closer, closer. Baby. Ooh, nice and cold. Mm -hmm. So when did we get it started? Like 9 a.m. this morning? Um, yeah, probably about 9 or 10. Yeah, so I think we've got it started around 9 a.m. And it is uh, 4 p.m. now. Hold on. Okay, so it's been running all day. Of course, it's peak time right now. You know, it's still great sun, but we are at 99% and then we're still pulling in amperage right now with our solar. So this has been running a dream. So this little freezer is running off our solar. It is only drawing five amps of power when, the, when, the, when it's actually running. Um, so it's five amps at household power so 110 115 voltage somewhere right around there um it's about 550 watts or so of power while the compressor is running and it cycles itself on and off um so with the solar that we've got set up on the rv it just doesn't really make much of an impact as it's running oh, uh, 800 watts ish yeah we've we've got 800 watts of solar on the roof and so at night you know especially it's going to be pulling from the batteries and the inverter and so our inverter turns off at 1 a.m. And um, we're, we'll turn it back on at 7 a.m. So I don't really see a problem with this being off from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. You know, we turn the inverter on first thing in the morning. So as long as every, as long as that's on straight away in the morning, it'll be fine. Um, you know, and as long as, oh, it's a good seal. <laughs> As long as this is completely full, I'm actually going to go fill it a little more with, I'm, I'm going to fill it with just bags of water right now so that it's completely full and that um, you want to make sure that, you know, if, if there's plenty of frozen stuff in there, it'll stay frozen for, uh, you know, that little bit of time, um, you know, that the, that it's not being charged. So stuff should stay frozen in the freezer for a long period of time. But our plan is to actually have a solar and inverter, um, like a solar panels, uh, batteries and inverters right here in the shed for shed purposes. And the shed purposes would be for this freezer plus a little bit of lights. So, you know, we're going to get a few batteries. Um, I think we're going to get like four batteries, um, a couple solar panels and uh we already have an inverter so we have a lot of the stuff that's just kind of ready to go that will be on 24 7 so that this won't ever have to go off right but uh you know with it being off a few hours it's really not that big a deal so um yeah a lot of you guys asked you know the the setup for solar i mean it is shocking how little energy this takes and if you're thinking of running a freezer on solar it is completely doable to run on on alternative energy so Good morning. So the, the inverter turned off last night at 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. Sorry. And then I turned it on immediately when I woke up this morning at 7 a.m. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and take a look. Our um, Actually, our batteries were at 72%, which is really good. I thought it was going to be way lower. So for it to be running, you know, basically all night without, not all night, but you know, there were a few hours in which it weren't run. It wasn't running. 
Um, so the inverter turned off and it it's at 72%. Everything is still rock hard. It's great. Everything is still rock hard. Everything looks good. Nothing's been spoiled. So yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with this. We need to um, actually get it a lot fuller so that it's it's a lot better. What I mean by that is like, you know, we just need to get it fuller. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to be putting a bunch more stuff in here, but I'm really pleased. It's still very cold. So yeah, um, very, very pleased with this. Running a freezer on solar is completely possible. We are going to be working very hard to get a dedicated setup for this and just the general shed so that we're not relying on the power for, from our, um, from our RV. Uh, you know, we need that additional solar and the additional, um, batteries and such, you know, to exclusively run this all the time so that it doesn't have to turn off. But, you know, it's okay if a freezer is turned off for a few hours. It's, it's not that big a deal. So, so if you're thinking about running a freezer on solar power, it is definitely possible. You have to look at the amperage of the, um, freezer. And then you have to look at, you have to kind of do some calculations and make sure that, you know, you're gonna have enough uh, solar and enough batteries. For us, we were thinking we would need at least four batteries and I think three or four solar panels so that it's um, getting plenty of charge and then it'll um, charge plenty at night. So those four uh, batteries will charge it completely, you know, will keep it charged all the time, right? So, um, you know, and then plus some extra for cloudy days and things like that. So those are all things that you have to consider. So thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you all later. Bye.